Ready? Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we got Pendulums putting up eight negates through Ash Blossom, baby. Not once, but twice. So if you love Pendulums, make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. So if you're ready for this video, smash the subscribe button. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes, baby. 1,000 likes. Go check out TriffGaming.com. We only have three Joker, Kieran, Double Iris Play Mets left. So get it ASAP because once we sell out of these ones, I'm getting in stock a special secret play mat that I've been waiting for so long. With that being said, it's time, boys. Let's get straight into the video. It's time to put up 10 the gates through Ash Blossom twice in a row. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> And before we get into this video, I got the most massive, incredible news for you guys. If you love Pendulums, you gotta listen to this. I'm officially launching the Triff Gaming membership on Patreon. What this entails is that if you want to get better at Pendulums, I am going to be doing group coaching every single week, every Sunday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Patreon. All you need to do is sign up to the Triff Gaming membership. And for any yearly member who signs up on the yearly membership, you get also incredible perks such as this exclusive fucking absolutely beautiful Pepe playmat that is only going to be released to exclusive yearly members on the membership as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching one-time one-on-one meet and greet so go check that out right now you know it's in the description below the membership starts next week june 1st and for every patreon member already i made a video discussing this and it's going to be incredible every single week kind of like a stream just for patrons where we could interact with each other and I can teach you guys how to play pendulums Anyways, with that being said, today's video is going to be 8 negates twice through Ash Blossom. And it's not really 8 negates, it's fucking 10, baby. So let's get started. 10 negates, 8 negates through Ash, through Sewer Blight, through Galaxy. Let's go. 8 negates through Ash Blossom, not once, but twice. I'm going to showcase to you guys right now how easy, how easy it is to do with Pendulums, bro. It's just too easy. And this hand over here, you guys are going to witness. This one wasn't even 8 negates, bro. This is 10 negates. And look at my hand. My hand is not that good, bro. My hand is just not that good. I don't have server. I don't have abductor. This guy has super poly one, and he's drawing a second super poly for turn. So I have to play through Ash Blossom and double super poly with the cosmic to get rid of my right hand. Drawing double invocation does not matter because he's going to discard it for both his super polys. So things are looking quite bleak here. I go into a lore here, and this is just a prime example of why you have to play Abductor. If this was Mythical Beast Cerberus, this hand was dog shit. He Ash Blossomed my Cerberus. I'm literally passing my turn, bro. Yeah, you'll draw two with this, but it's just not a good card, and this just shows how Abductor is a million times better. If they Ash Blossom my Abductor, I don't give a shit. Who cares if they Ash Blossom the Abductor? He ends it, he Ash Blossoms my Blue Boy here because he doesn't want Abductor to get enough counters to be able to add a card. So, okay, things are looking bleak, right? Well, let me show you guys a little secret here. This, you guys are going to witness so many crazy secrets about pendulums in this video. That's why you guys got to stay tuned to the end of the video. You guys will see some crazy stuff like this one right here. This is going to show you not just why you got to play Abductor, but why you have to play double Blue Boy. Look at this. He Ash Blossom, my Blue Boy, because he didn't want Abductor to gain spell counters. So... Now, this is the exact reason why you play a second blue boy. So when your first blue boy gets stopped, you have a second target for Crowley. So now Crowley can resolve. So now Crowley is not only going to be able to search a card, but it now gives you the opportunity to believe in the heart of the cards to draw knowledge. So we use Crowley here because you play a second blue boy. And what do you know? Send that knowledge to my hand, baby. This is what happens when you play your deck correctly. You get rewarded, bro. You get rewarded by playing the best deck. L listen, all right, I don't care anything that says. Luck is not real. Luck is created by playing the best deck and the best way. So, and you always get rewarded by playing the best way. So knowledge, and we're going to use research to special back to Blue Boy. We're going to knowledge, and speaking about getting rewarded for playing perfectly, knowledge gets us desires and mastery. And this is what happens when you play Double Blue Boy. What's this possible if we did not play Double Blue Boy? Hell no. This video uh, alternate title could be Blue Boy at 2 is mandatory because it is. Anyways, here we're gonna go abductor to search servant. This is another great trick. Ash Blossom's gone. He doesn't have another ash in hand. Obviously, you can't use it again. So 
rather than using Mastery to search Mighty Master here, we could resolve our Servant very easily. We just resolve our Abductor to search the Servant, and because Mastery puts two spell counters on a card, this is a combo to get Servant for a, to resolve Servant rather than going Mastery. So if you open Mastery, always use Abductor to search the Servant instead of Mastery to search the Servant. Because now you're going to get two free spell counters from the Servant because Abductor searches it, and you know he doesn't have a Nash Blossom because he just used it. He can't use the second one. Here you bring a Jackal. Now even if he has the Nibiru, if he has anything else, he's dead. He's done. Now it's over. Now this is 10 Gates. You guys saw the opening hand? You guys saw the opening hand? This hand looked, my hand was dog shit. But because our deck was played perfectly, and we played everything amazingly, he's done for. It's over. I pendulum like one card, I still put up 10 Gates. So here I'm gonna go Selene. I'm gonna pendulum two, just one Chrono, one Reflection from hand. I'm gonna uh, maximize my amount of Negates, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how. I go Masquerina, I go Mighty Master to pop the restage. And then I'm going to go into Absolute Vortex, Cross Sheep, which is obviously you guys should be playing this. I told you guys this a long time ago. Cross Sheep Vortex, Effect, Cross Sheep Trigger Special. Go into Selene here. Uh, this uh, this Millennium Eyes was summoned by uh, Selene. It was summoned by Instant Fusion or Restage or something. Uh, and now this is the end board here. And now I'm going to show you guys how this actually 10 negates. So you negate with Right Hand, you negate with Vortex, you negate with Jackal, you negate with Mighty Master. These are four negates. You negate with Millennium Eyes, this is five negates. And then. Uh, Mascarena now has the opportunity to equal two negates. Here's how. You're not going into Unicorn. Why waste a card? What you can do with Mascarena is you're either going to go into Underworld Goddess, which is insane of a card. You not only get rid of a problem that they have like Dragoon, but then it also has two more interruptions on top, which they don't always resolve both interruptions, but I consider the second interruption and third interruption of Mascarena, sorry, of Underworld Goddess is one total interruption. So it, what I'm saying is if they're playing like, like uh, deck that utilizes the graveyard it could be dragon link with anything that specials a card from the graveyard then you go into underworld goddess to get rid of a monster in the field and then negate the special summon from the graveyard or to negate the effects of everything on their field so masquerade equals two negates like this or you can just get rid of four cards from your field because you have guaranteed scales with the deck there and then that equals an app for four for 3200 and then they you're done at nine negates and then selene when masquerade clears the field will special a bounce to get rid of zeus so that's 10 negates, or you, I prefer it as 8 negates because I like Underworld Goddess more. So anyways, uh, this is game number one, and now he's going to draw into Super Poly, and there's just nothing he can do here. So he's going to Cosmic this first right away to try to make it resolve. I'm going to Mighty Master Negate. For the plebs that don't know what Right Hand does by now after I talk about this card a million times, Right Hand is not like the Mermail spell card. It negates the first effect that resolves. But if you negate the first spell card, it's not mandatory to negate. It's mandatory to negate, right hand mandatory to negate the first spell that resolves. But if it doesn't resolve because you negate it first, then right hand still is allowed to work. So we Mighty Master to negate the Cosmic Cyclone, knowing that if he does this, he probably has a Dark Ruler or something. So next you go Super Poly. Another special trick that you guys need to understand how broken right hand is, is right hand does not activate. Super Poly says neither player can activate cards or effects in response to this activation. Right hand does not activate. Since it does not activate, it negates Super Poly automatically because it does not activate. It's mandatory, it does not activate. So it just gets negated by right hand right away without the fact of Poly's last sentence. Uh, and then this lets them have, they have two cards left in hand and I still have nine negates or eight, I have eight negates left or six negates of Masquerade and Go to Underworld Goddess. He's going to Super Poly here. Not even his Quintet Magician is going to save his ass. He goes into this on uh, the resolution of the summon. I bring up Reflection. And look at this, bro. It's, it's just over. I bring the scale back to my hand to make sure I have scales. And it is done. I literally still have... I still have Vortex. I still have Masquerina for Appaloosa or Underworld Goddess. And he has no cards left. Like, this deck's insane. This was with a bad hand, too. So now I'm going to showcase uh, game number two over here. Which, which he's playing a Go Second deck, clearly, by playing double Super Poly. And he's playing, he's like Gamma Seal, Ash, and two starters. So this is going to get him Alistair. This is going to get him Desires. And here's my hand. So I'm going to go Mastery here. He opts not to Ash the Mastery. It didn't matter. This is actually great that he didn't Ash it. Because now I can showcase you guys another special trick. I told you guys at the beginning of the video. This video is going to have multiple tricks for Pendulums. This is going to teach you guys how to play Pendulums. Well, you guys are going to learn something very important here. Especially when you're playing on Dueling Book. Uh, as many of us are because of COVID. Uh, I don't know where you guys live, but we in Toronto still have lockdown, unfortunately. Here, the Ash Boss is my servant. Yes, I know. By the way, I could have instant fusion to stop that from resolving. But there's a reason why I did not do this. I don't care. I want him to Ash Boss on my servant. 
I want him to ash blossom the serpent. I want him to. Why? Because in dueling book, okay, on dueling book, uh, on dueling book, you can resolve servant a second time. On dueling book, they use OCG rules, and on, this is not in the TCG. In TCG, you cannot do this. But, oh, hey, hey, Teddy. He's running around, uh, being a good boy, of course. In TCG, you cannot do this. But in the OCG, there's a ruling that servant can be resolved multiple times through servant, through Ash Boslin. So, now we just resolve it again. Tips and tricks like this on dueling book is how you succeed. Back when I took dueling book rated seriously, I took pendulum to 1600 rated in one week. Easily. And you know what? Maybe you guys want me to see, to see me do it. Maybe I'll continue doing it. Maybe in the upcoming format. But this deck's insane. It really is. So just by utilizing a trick like that, I get Servant and Jackal out on the board to protect from Nibiru. Not that they even give a shit. Whether Servant resolves or not, whether the TCG or not, this is still 10 negates. Easily. Well, 8 negates. Anyways, here I'm going to do another cool trick. We have no low scale. Where are you going to get your low scale? Are you going to risk Saryuja? No. Why, why the hell would you do that? You Mighty Master pop your own Servant. This is very important. Tips and tricks all day, baby. Tips, tips and tricks like this is why and how you're going to end up putting 8 negates through Ash Blossom every time. So when anyone tells me, Pens lose to Antras, bro, you're an idiot, bro. The only Antras they lose to is Droll. And you know what? It's fine. You better fucking have it. If you don't have Droll, you're going to lose. Like, that's that's exactly how I'm trying to play this deck. If you have Droll, you better fucking have it. If you don't have Droll, you're going to auto-lose against this deck. So here, we're going to use Mighty Master Big Brain Play to put Servant back in the scale. If you don't have access to Mighty Master, you can also use Daybreaker. You're playing a bunch of extenders with Restage, Instant Fusion, Jessica Confit, Millennium Eyes, Chronograph, all these extenders. So you can just go with Daybreaker, uh, or Selene Special make Daybreaker, and then Special Summon from hand. Daybreaker, pop Servant of Endymion, put it in scale, and then Pen Summon. There's lots of cool tricks like this. And then you're going to go to Absolute Crotchy Vortex. This is before my Pen Summon. Bro, I didn't even fucking Pen Summon yet. So here, I do have to get rid of my Chronograph because I need something for Vortex to negate with. So I bring a Time Gazer, and this is going to give me a Selene. This is going to give me a Mascarena. I'm going to Special the Selene here. I got bored of putting up the same boards every time. So this time I put made Vortex before my Pen Summon, and I made an Appaloosa before my Pen Summon, uh, just because I was bored of making the same board. Uh, and then I special Mighty Master and Chronograph of a Pendulum Summon, and uh, I want to I special Chronograph specifically because Mascarena. Now if I really want to make a Selene after Appaloosa negate something, I could use Mascarena, Appaloosa, and Chronograph into a Selene, and that Selene can special up this Mighty Master. So that would give me another spell, Trap Negate, just in case he has multiple spe spells and traps. Uh, to stop the right hand and look at this what board's breaking this like sphere mode isn't doing shit if you sphere mode all these cards you still lose if you sphere mode like up lose a jackal mighty master you still have to deal with vortex right hand and a selene because this will go into selene you still have to deal with three negates four negates like and you have you have three cards left and no normal stomach you get what i'm saying like no card stops this whatsoever the only thing that stops this is double dark ruler specifically double dark ruler like and even then you lose because you have two cards left in hand Anyway, so I'm going to showcase you guys now. He's playing Mech Knight in Alistair, Invoke Garbage deck, and then he uh, draws Gamma, his Gamma Seal. What are you going to Gamma Seal, bro? <laughs> like, to, please, enlighten me. What are you going to Gamma Seal? Are you going to Gamma Seal and one for one trade, one of your negates for one of my eight? I'll show you how I have eight. Right hand, Vortex, Jackal, Mighty Master, Appaloosa for two, so five, six, and then Mascarena is going to go up in, either into Selene for Mighty Master for a seventh, if you need a seventh negate, but what, like, the card that I love the most is Underworld Goddess with Mascarena. People don't understand the power of Underworld Goddess. So, Underworld Goddess, so you have, si you have six without Mascarena. So, Mascarena is going to go to Underworld Goddess to get rid of the problem on the field for seven. And then, Underworld Goddess will have a decision. It'll, either ne it'll negate all the monsters your opponent controls effects, just in case they have something that's important. And then, they can't special from the graveyard. So that's double stuff you can use with Underworld Goddess. You'll use one of them per, per, against your opponent. That's eight interruptions easily. Full scale, Servants resolving next turn. Like, what are you Gamma Sealing, bro? Gamma Sealing my Vortex. Okay, damn. Oh, you Gamma Sealing my Vortex. I don't know what I'm going to do. And now what's he going to do? Please tell me. Please enlighten me. He could have whatever hand in the world he wants. What hand breaks this? Like, tell me. You want Sphere Mode and Super Poly? You're still not breaking this with Sphere Mode and Super Poly. Like, nothing breaks this. Terraforming, sure. Negate. Resolution. Big brain. I don't need Appaloosa anymore. You have three cards in hand. You're not doing shit. I'm gonna uh, get rid of all these for Selene because Chronograph's a spellcaster. Especially another spell trap negate. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. GG. So anyways, that's the video, guys. Before we finish off this video, I am gonna showcase you guys a deck list. Uh, if you guys like this video so far, make sure to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button. Uh, that's all I ask for you guys. I, I want my our channel 
to 50,000 subscribers. You guys are the best fans in the world. So let's hit 50,000 subscribers by next month, baby. Let's fucking do it. Now I'm going to showcase you guys the deck list. Let's go. Here is the famed incredible deck list. I call this a Demian draw. It has not changed much in the meantime. Uh, my previous list had different versions. I had Foolish Burial Goods. I have different versions. This is ultimately the list I'm falling back on. Uh, amazing main deck. Works incredible. The only time you lose is when you draw like uh, hands like you see these last three. Uh, these bricks sometimes, these last three. When people play Cerberus Jackal, it baffles me. They literally suck. All you want, like, like, all you want in your hand are extenders. You want, like, these cards, you don't know, these last seven cards, you don't want in your hand. These last eight cards, you don't want in your hand. Like, if you open any of these eight, it's not bad. It's not bad to open Mighty Master. Mighty Master is the best card in your deck at the end of the day. But, like, even these, like, all these, you don't, like, these don't help you break boards. These last nine, they don't help you break boards. They're required. You definitely need a Jackal, like, it helps you to open a Jackal or Master. Jackal helps you play through Nibiru. Mighty Master, you can blow everything up before your pen summon. These help you going second and stuff, but if you want to clear through stuff and just play freely, uh, the first 31 cards do that for you. But the issue is, you do need to play all these anyways. So, and maybe in the future we'll cut one Jackal, one Master, but in doing so, Desires will kill you. So, this is, this is, is perfect just as is. Uh, it works out, and you just need to... As long as you open one of those 31 cards I, I showed you guys, you, you absolutely auto-kill your opponent. And I'm going to say this again. This deck is absolutely insane. This deck's unbeatable. It really is. It, it's really your opponent draws Droll or they lose. That's it. I've cleared through Dragonling board without side decking multiple times. This deck's insane. So if you guys play Pendulums, I recommend play this list card for card. It does not require a big brain because just by playing Pendulums, you automatically have a big brain. So it's all good. Uh... And then uh, side deck, I did other changes as well. I added, uh, I took out Sphere Mortal Lava Golem in the situations where you drop too many of them. Now that you're playing spell cards, you could always get rid of them with Magician Souls and the spells add counters for your cards. So this is very important. Adding Droplets and Dark Ruler are six, are six cards your opponent cannot respond to. This is very helpful because you're playing Jester Souls and Blue Boy. You have a monster for Droplets to be used for. So it's totally fine. Uh, and Mystic Mind Terraforming. I don't care people say this. Mystic Mind is insane in Pendulums. Super amazing. I added one call by the grave because with instant fusion and call by, you now have two cards that stops Joel and Lockbird. Joel and Lockbird really is the only way you lose, period. And I still hate call by the grave. It's fucking ass. It's like you're hand trapping yourself uh, because you're getting rid of one card in your hand. But it's fine. You just need as many ways out. You can play Gamma to stop Joel, but it's just fucking ass. Don't do it. Uh, and then you play these five. Against backer decks, if you know you're playing Lightning Storm in the side deck, don't scale Servant or, or Abductor Reflection first. Draw into one of these. Uh, and then this is the extra deck. Amazing. You could take out Artemis for Relinquish Anima. To be honest, I switch them up every single day. And they're both good. And I miss them every time I take them out. Maybe in the future we add each of them. Uh, and then Underworld Goddess right here. You do have to play either... If Underworld Goddess is too expensive for you, you have to play Unicorn. And if Souls is too expensive for you, play One Souls. One Souls is absolutely fucking required. In fact, if you don't have... It, actually, I take that back. You need three Souls. If you're going to play this deck with really reliant on Restage, you need three Souls. It's, this whole deck is the Souls Turbo. If you don't want to play Souls because it's expensive, I, I understand. It is super expensive. That's fine. Just don't play this version. Play a version without Restage and Jester and Souls. And as you see, that's like 10 cards you're taking out. Then you're going to have to take out Blue Boy and Secret. One and Blue Boy, one Secrets because you don't have enough extenders to make Crowley. So like that's like 11 cards you have to take out. And that's fine. But what I would take out for those 11 is Pendulum Magicians. I add in Triple Pen Call, Triple Duelist Alliance, and 5 Pendulum Magicians. Uh, and a target for Duelist Alliance is not, that's not pen call. Anyways, that's the deck, guys. I hope you guys love it. And I'm going to look forward to tomorrow. We're going to have an epic video for you guys as well. And this deck is absolutely insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace! And a reminder that if you guys want to learn these skills that I showcase in this video, go check out the Trip Gaming membership starting next week. One-on-one -on -one coaching for yearly members. Group coaching every Sunday. 6 p.m., 9 p.m. Sign up for the membership down below. Let's go, baby.